Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on the channel. My name is Brandino, and today I will be talking about 11 things you need to know about the new Fortnite Battle Royale update. Yes, not 10, not 5, but 11. And yes, there is a little bit more that they included. On top of the 11 that I will be mentioning, I will leave a link down in the description if I remember about the patch notes. You guys can read them if you want, but here we go. Let's get started. All right, so the most obvious one is they changed the color of the map itself. The mini map on the top right hand corner, then if you press M or whatever your key bind is for the map, you press that, the whole map looks different. It looks beautiful, 10 times better. It's not one solid green. Every shade of green is for a separate biome, for the forest, for the swamp, for the plains, for the town. It's, it's awesome, phenomenal. One of the best things Epic Games has ever done for Fortnite is making the visuals 10 times better. Visuals is everything nowadays in video games, guys. If, if, if visuals wasn't everything, there wouldn't be cosmetics, right? Like, what is the difference from a nutcracker in Fortnite shooting at people versus just the default skin? Nothing, it just looks cool. Hence the visuals, right? Cosmetics, visuals are everything, so they definitely one up to the visuals this time. Props to you, Epic Games. Let's get on to the next one. The second thing that they changed in this update is the scoped of the scoped AR. Yes, what does that mean? The scoped of the scoped AR? Yeah, so they changed the scoped of the scoped AR. All right, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, so the old scope, it was very hard to see people. It was very hard to aim at, at, at people's heads. It was just a bad scope, essentially. And they made it more modern, which is 10 times better. You guys see it here in the video. It just, the scope, I didn't really use it so much in this gameplay. I was just trying to find one just to zoom in and look at it so, so, so I can show you guys. I got a kill with it, but he was clo close range, but still, it does look 10 times better it's just more and more modern and that's what they were going for so 10 out of 10 for the, the new scoped scoped ar another thing that they made a change is you get more metal from like buses uh the big giant like cargo boxes which is awesome because i remember you would get like seven or ten metal and it's like what the hell i'm not even gonna mine metal i'm just gonna hope to get 20 kills in this game and at the very end i'll have you know 800 metal that wasn't really the case but now you can mine freaking trucks and everything and you'll get like 30 or 40 metal which is amazing so now people will have more intense bases for sure and it will be harder to take down it'll be more strategic it'll be fun it'll be great i love it so this one isn't obvious but i'm kind of glad that it's gone now is the snowball launcher it was definitely cool at first the sound that it, it, that it would make when you shoot it and the sound that it would make when you would reload it was definitely cool kind of like the rpg for the halloween update had a pumpkin at the end of it but i'm kind of glad now that the snowball launcher is gone back to the grenade launcher it's just one of those things that's like it's definitely a temporary thing, right? It kind of gets old and it was just like the perfect time to kind of get rid of that. Friendly fire is disabled. Yes, oh my bejeebus. You have no idea how many times Z Hunter 115 and I have played duos, squads, etc. And he straight up kills me. He just straight up annihilates me, guys. Like, we will be running the same building, looting, trying to stay together right in duos, keep, uh, keeping close range, and I'll be behind him or something or in front of him or to the side. Where, where, wherever I am, I just, I always scare him. I, I, I don't know why. And for some odd reason, with the sub or with the magnum, he just, like, one-taps me in the head and downs me instantly. It's like, dude, how, like, why can't you do this, with, uh, you know, with the enemies? No, I'm just kidding, man. But still... You know, friendly fire is dis disabled, which also can prevent those trolls if you try to play with randoms. You know, going into duos or squads with Phil does prevent that for sure. Because I have played with some of my teammates and friends. And, you know, sometimes when we play with a random, he'll take all the ammo and whatnot. And my teammate will want to shoot him. And he'll, like, shoot, shoot him once to try to, like, get an idea. Like, hey, that was mine. So that won't happen anymore, which I think is a good thing. Sniper shots now show the distance of your kill i don't know if i captured this in this gameplay or not i was having a lot of issues trying to get my settings fixed for obs to record this for you guys and by the time i got it fixed i was just like all right whatever gameplay i have right here is going to be it for this video guys but what happens is when you get a kill with a sniper in the kill feed it, in the kill feed it, it'll say so and so killed so and so with the sniper and then right next to the word sniper it'll have him have in brackets the amount of meters that you kill or the amount of meters of the distance that you killed the guy from and i think that is awesome it will definitely play an effect of like more challenges trying to play against your friends and be like hey let's see if you can get the far the sniper shot etc that's definitely 
cool. This one isn't too big, but it's definitely helpful as they added ammo boxes at Dusty Depot. And I think this is awesome because Dusty Depot is just one of those places that's like right in the middle of everything. You got Salty Springs, you got you got retail, you got everything just right in the mix of there. So Dusty Depot is definitely a hectic place. So having a little bit more ammo is definitely beneficial. This one doesn't really affect me in any way, sh uh, shape or form because I always have the voice chat muted because a lot of people try to say dumb crap in the voice, whether it's racist or not. Like I just don't want to deal with it. And usually when I'm playing Fortnite, I'm playing with my friends. So I only want to talk to them and them only. And if I'm playing by myself, I usually just kind of try to chill out, play by myself, not really talk to anyone. But they did enable voice chat in the pregame lobby, so you can now talk to pretty much everyone in the pregame lobby, whether you know you know them or not. Kind of like H1Z1, and I'm pretty sure PUBG does the same thing as well. But it's definitely a cool feature that they added in, because I did use it once in a while in H1Z1, and we had funny moments, because, you know, you're just talking to, to random people that you don't even know, and you all have the same interest, hence playing the same game, and trying to go for the same you know goal we're trying to get the you know, we're trying to be the last person alive so it's just kind of funny you meet new people talk to new, new people it's just not my thing but it is there for you guys if you want to use it one thing that i forgot to write down but i did re remember on top of my head just now is they changed the sound effects of all the pickaxes and i think this is one of the biggest things they could have done in this update and it's also so minor i feel like it's so big because for an example in this game i have the slurp pickaxe and i was kind of getting bored of it actually just within the past couple games I was playing today as recording this and I'm like alright you know should I switch to another one but I kind of like how this one looks but it's just like kind of boring now but now that they changed the sound effects of every pickaxe this one sound sounds like there is like a genuine liquid like genuine slurp inside of the pickaxe like inside the container and it's swishing around and it's just freaking awesome and then you get the scythe and then you got other pickaxes that sound like you're like i don't know it's just cool just just go swing around just run out in the middle middle of the field like a retard and swing your pickaxe like crazy and just listen to it it sounds cool it definitely like will get you it definitely gets me wanting to use other pickaxes which is awesome it br definitely brings that variety and fun into the game which epic games does very well of this one is huge by the way if you're playing duos and squads especially for squads duos yeah so it's not really is the compass that they have on top they now have a direct number of the direction that you are looking at so usually say if you're looking at like at like southwest and then the number directly to the right of the compass of southwest you pretty much try to gauge like uh say for an example i don't remember the compass off the top of my head but say the number 30 is right next to north right and say if i saw someone between north and 30 i'd be like ah there's someone between north 30 somewhere around 15 you know like that's too long of a call out especially if you're playing in squads and you're trying to just go for kills right off the rip but now the number says on top of the compass of the direct direction so it could be like 16 or 10 or something like that between north and 30. again i don't know if 30 is to the right of north on the compass i'm just saying this off the top of my head if it is i'm a badass i know i'm just kidding but still i think that's super cool especially for those in squads solos like i said compass does, doesn't really play an effect in and in, in, in solos but it's still cool that it is there Alrighty, guys and i saved the best for last is the new POIs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is 10 new POIs, five named, five non-named. I will go over this. You guys can see on the screen the old map and the, the new map. Just first of all, look how great the map on the left. I'm just kidding. The map on the right looks. Just just it looks beautiful. You like I said in the beginning of the, the video, guys, you got the different you get the plains, you got the swamp, you get the forest, you got the city, just all the just the different green. It's just it looks so good. But anyway, guys, so as you guys can see on the left side of the map, well, on the left map, on the left side of the left map, lol, there is pretty much nothing there except for Pleasant Park and Greasy Grove. There's really nothing there. Yes, there might be like a house here and there, or there might be like a little hut here and there, but there's really no big place to land. Now, if you go to the right side, or the right part of the map, the new map, I'm gonna call this map number two. Map number one is the old map, map number two is the new map. All right, cool, got it, we're good, cool. Glad we got that out of the way. So map number two on the left side, west side, Snobby Shores, which is one of my favorite places to land it now. We got Tilted Towers, which, and my God, let me tell you this, they really thought that one out, huh? I swear, every time I go there, I get tilted, but you guys can see in this video that I just went off at Tilted Towers. So four or five of those people, however many I killed there, are tilted as oh heck so ggs and then on the top you guys can see haunted hills which i went there once i've been to everywhere at least once just to try it out and haunted hills is freaking 
cool not the best loot but it's still cool junk junction on the very tippy top but on the west side will kind of northwest but that place is awesome as well you know i love every new place so usually if i go to to junk junction i'll find my way to haunted hills and then pleasant park and then it's kind of just second nature from there you know kind of old news from there so the big main places we got junk junction haunted hills snobby shores and tilted towers and shifty shafts shifty shafts is okay you know it's definitely a cool place to land it like i said i like all the new places all right all right all right all right so i'm go also going to circle the new places that don't have names so we got the place right next to flush factory we got the place right above greasy grove we got the place right to the bottom right of junk junction and the place uh, far top right of pleasant park and then we got the, the little teeny tiny place right on the bottom of shifty shafts so a bunch of new places on the on the west side and that was epic games goal is to fill the map completely because i feel like this is the most perfect time for them to update this map like this and adding more places because i feel like and and, and, and it was just going to be a matter of time that people were going to be asking for a new map or some new POIs. And the fact that they just completely filled up this map, they really can't. I, I, I don't really see them filling up any more POIs on this map in general. If they do that, they're going to have to make a whole new map, which I'm completely fine with. But that's going to be way down the road. Like, like we've been playing this game for how long? And we've been all going to Salty Springs, uh, Retail Road. Uh, Pleasant Park, Tomato Town, Anarchy Acres, Lonely Lodge, really? I mean, I don't go to those stupid places. Most of you might. Nope. So, it's definitely cool. I like it a lot. It's definitely going to... It, it feels like a brand new game, honestly. It truly does feel like a brand new game. So, comment down below, guys. What is your favorite part about this update? Is it the new colorful grass? Is it the, the new POIs? Is it some of the, the changes that they made to the weapons? Or some stuff that they may have added? Like the voice chat? Or just taken away? Like this is the snowball launcher? They also made some bug fixes. Like, I think there's something wrong with the cozy fire. Maybe there's something wrong with the... Uh, boogie bomb i can't remember exactly but they definitely did more stuff than what i mentioned again this was just the major aspects of the update that we definitely noticed right off the rip and i just wanted to cover it with you guys so hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did smash the thumbs up button like this note tomorrow and i'll see you guys next time on a brand new video peace out <laughs>